All right, happy Wednesday to everybody. We are actually on day two DLR. We are screencasting, listening to a little bit of John Mayer. Not too bad. Covering Tom Petty's free falling. But here we go. You ready? It says, my grandma made me a party dress and she made me the school dress. She made me the school dress. Unless you're Adam Sandler in a movie, this sentence is all uh, messed up, isn't it? So let's get it fixed. It says, my grandma, first of all, is grandma, should that be capitalized? No. I think maybe your grandmothers and grandfathers might argue that. But yes, you're right. It shouldn't be. So arrow down for that one. Now remember, what do we do? We read. Okay. So let's get it. My grandma made me a party dress. What do we need before that conjunction? First of all, who can show me where the conjunction is? Go. Yeah, run up there, man. Point. Like we're in a game show. Okay. Yeah, where's the conjunction? And what do we need before that? Um, a comma. We need a comma, right? No, you're good. So my grandma made me a party dress, comma, and she made me the school dress. How do we fix that? She made me... You wouldn't say the school dress. A, a, a school dress, right? All right, now let's read it again. One more time. Ready, Riker? Ready? And then you tell me what's on your mind. We're going to read it. All right, Riker gave me a thumbs up. My grandma made me a party dress and she made me a school dress. What's on your mind? Um, I put um, who at the end. Like a school dress. Spell it. T O or T O O? Ah, that's a dangling preposition, so we'll leave that off, okay? All right? I wouldn't probably bust you for it on a test, but okay? You could say, and she also would be better, right? So we could throw that in. And she also made me a school dress. All right. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four corrections for that one. Now, what, what phase are we on? Right. So you did you guys write it out nice and neat? I should hope so. All right, let's keep going though. All right. The dress, oh boy, listen to this. The dress for mine party have big purple polka dots. Uh, Jarvie, your hand was shot up like a spring. That is not mine, it's mine. My. The dress for my party, would you say have? What should it be? Has. Has, that a girl. Has big purple polka dots, and I think we're good. I got it right. Uh oh. Yeah, no, we're good. Yeah. So it looks like two corrections on that one, unless I'm missing something. Ava, did I miss anything? No? All right, here we go. It says draw a line between the prefix and the root word, then write the meaning on the line. All right, you ready for this? Let's do this, right? Let's break it down. My sister spilled paint on my school dress, so I am unable to wear it. Now, if you know what the, who can tell me what the prefix un means? Let me do it in different, right here. I'm going to do that. Ready? Un. And then I'll do able in green. A-B-L-E. What does un mean? It's got its own separate meaning. Un. What does it mean? Un equals what? Not. not. So, un means not. If if un means not, then what does unable mean? Not what does it mean? Not means you're not able. Can you believe how much the prefix un changes the root word able? Because able means you can, right? You you slap the prefix un in front of it, and you've changed the meaning completely, haven't you? And it means you can't. It means you can't. All right, unable. So, uh, would it be fair to say then that the meaning of that would be not able to do something, right? Is that what you guys got? That's what I got. All right, let's keep rolling. Ready? 
Circle the meaning of the bold word. All right, here it is. There's the bold word. All right. I know my sister didn't mean to ruin my dress. So mean. This is going to be a homograph. Spelled the same, sounds the same, but they have different meanings. Right? Mean. Is it unkind or selfish? Or mean to do on purpose? Because... This word can have both meanings, but until you see it in context, and what I mean by context is until you see it in a sentence, right? What does it mean? Which one is it? Who knows? Jay. To do on purpose. That a boy. All right. There it is. There's your DLR. Week two, day two, in the books, Tadero out.